Hello guys, last late enthusiast here. Today I wanted to share my opinion about the Sofern C8F, but not the standard edition you will find on Amazon, eBay or any other websites, but a special edition of the C8F with Samsung LH351D emitters, which can only be bought on their official sofernlight.com website. I found it actually by accident because I was browsing for Sofern products uh, and interested especially in this Samsung emitters and I came across their website and what I found out is that their SP36 uh, BLF edition flashlight was available not only in the Samsung emitters in 5000K versions but it was also available in 400, 4000K and in 2700K which I was uh, later aware of and it was a very pleasant surprise for me that Sofern actually offers some special editions for flashlight enthusiasts on their website I wish I knew it earlier so now guys let's see what we get for under $30 in this Sofern C8F I should call it limited edition with Samsung LH351D emitters so as you can see I've got two flashlights, one of them is obviously 5000K but I also got another one in warmer tint uh, in the same emitters but in 2700K so let's no further ado, let's open this up and see what we've got inside uh, but first of all let's, let's look at the package as you can see no labeling, nothing fancy here, just plain cardboard box with just sign what what is inside the uh, emitters and uh, temperature color of LEDs and obviously model of the flashlight so when I ordered the SP36 also with the emitters I got the same package uh, so it's probably a standard new package of Sofern I guess but I, I couldn't confirm it so don't, don't take it for granted so we've got the manual here this is funny because it is actually the manual for the standard XPL version uh, but I will show you later what's what's inside uh, obviously the flashlight is wrapped up in this bubble so it won't get scratched which is kind of nice addition uh, what we've got here is also some lanyard and a set of spare o-rings as you can see here we've got the two of them which is nice or sovereign thanks for that well, I think it's pretty standard to include two o-rings instead of one because one o-ring goes in the tail cup and the other goes near the head all right and what we've got here is an 18650 adapter because this flashlight actually operates on a uh, gaining popularity 21700 cell but obviously if you like to use it with 18650 batteries which is still most popular battery size you can do it we've got some 3d printing here i believe uh, with these stripes but it's a nice addition really for under 30 dollars guys i'm really impressed nice okay so let's wrap it all up and see what we've got in the flashlights First of all guys, I have to admit that I was impressed with the overall build quality of this flashlight. As I mentioned before, it was under $30, so it's really on a budget side, but clearly on the head the anodization quality is excellent. The cooling fins are not sharp, which might be an issue in other Sovereign lights, but in this particular sample the anodization quality is really really good the knurling is not sharp and it's nice and shiny really good job Sofren on that the nicely centered Samsung LEDs okay really good deep smooth reflectors all right let's see how does it operate all right so we've got a two 
switch here as you can see we've got the electronic side switch which will control control uh, every mode and the on off button on the tail which is physical switch so it simply closes the current flowing as soon as you turn on your flashlight it will turn on also the battery indicator uh, under the side switch so let's see solid green now it will illuminate for five seconds and then it will just disappear all right so we've got like three stage battery indicator it will either be solid green between 3.4 volts and 4.2 volts which is basically the the good sufficient battery level below 4.3.4 sorry volts to 3.0 volts it will be flashing red and below 3 volts to 2.8 volts it will actually be flashing rapid flashing red so it will either flash in red or rapid flash if it's critical battery level and below 2.8 volts it will shut down so it's low voltage uh, protection will kick off all right uh, in this particular model Sofen didn't use Anduril UI but it's okay I'm really good with the UI they used here in this flashlight so basically you've got four operating modes or four operating sections I must say the one is ramping which is very very nice I personally use it the most often but we've got also three sections with fixed modes which might be useful for some law enforcement and rescue users and anyone that does not prefer ramping right but for me as flashlight enthusiast i definitely like ramping because it's it's more versatile and flexible all right so let's turn it on as you can see it's 2700 k and here we've got 5000k uh, it's not that blue green on you know real life but it's more like neutral white very nice white beam so i i really like the samsung lh351d tint especially because it's high color rendering index above 90 so i really do like those emitters these are one of my favorites actually on the market right now so how to operate this flashlight simply click on click off on the uh, tail switch so let's illuminate this and now we've got ramping so we hold the side switch to decrease the brightness hold again to increase and we actually got the full ramping from 1 to 3500 lumens uh, yes yeah, so no no settings allowed here like in Unreal, but it's okay uh, the one thing I don't like about it or I might actually improve this one so far is that the ramping takes too much time for me it's like full five seconds one two three four yeah it's a bit slower but it's it took almost five seconds to go from the lowest setting to the highest I would like it more like three seconds might be better because you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting away and waiting for your maximum ramp to, to come up it really takes long especially in the forest in the dark when you like to you know increase the power more rapidly obviously you can double tap for turbo but you know the ramping should definitely be a bit faster all right so as you can see I still have my tail switch pressed on and well I can turn off my flashlight it is actually a nice feature uh, that software incorporated in this so with the circuit turned on with this tail switch you can actually use only the side switch to change modes but also to turn on and turn off the flashlight so it might you know the, the hybrid uh, version just use the side switch and the tail switch will only be used to you know 
uh, terminate the contact. That's nice. All right, so above this ramping, obviously you've got the shortcut to turbo and the turbo will actually display some kind of odd feature. I don't like it very much, but again, it might be fine to somebody. So basically what it does is that it will go to the high setting and then from high it will gradually increase the brightness over like one one and a half seconds so it's not like big step to turbo but it's like increasing brightness gradually so maybe your eyes will be you know have, have some better uh, night vision preserved but if i press turbo i would like it immediately so i don't like this feature that much but I guess it's okay. It will be hard to show on the camera, but maybe in the night beam shots when I take it to the forest it will be shown much better. Okay, so apart from ramping, as I said, we've got three groups that uh, have fixed modes. So you change it by pressing four times on the side switch. One, two, three, four. And it will blink times, uh, like it's in a first group, so it will blink one time on the at the beginning and now we've got the 500 lumen mode I believe and when we press and hold the side switch we can turn the flashlight off press again to, to turn it on and actually you change the modes by just sing, single pressing the side switch so as you can see nothing happens here because we've got only one mode here which is 500 lumens we also have from off position we've got the moonlight mode by pressing and holding the side switch we will enter the moonlight mode and again something i don't really like and i will change it is that from moonlight mode you cannot proceed to any other mode unless you turn off the flashlight and turn it on again into the previous settings apart from moonlight so if i'd like to you know click it it will always go on, go off click it again and it will go to this 500 lumen mode and obviously double tap for turbo and it will go to turbo single press again to return to the brightness all right the second setting the second group mode one two three four it will be three standard modes which is 100 lumens click again for 700 lumens then click again for 1800 lumens and obviously click again to cycle through again to 100 700 1800 100 again obviously you get your moonlight mode and double tap for turbo standard all right uh, and the third group will be four times clicking again we've got the 10 lumen mode 100 lumen mode, 500 lumen mode, and 1800 lumen mode. Obviously, your moonlight mode and turbo is remained. And in every mode, actually, you've got access to the stroke mode, which will be three clicks one, two, three. And it's quite disturbing, I must say. The frequency is really high which is good very good all right and one two three four again we enter the ramping mode which is my preferable setting definitely so obviously i'm very very impressed with this flashlight especially because of the emitters and that the fact that it operates on 21700 battery uh, as you may notice on your sample uh, it might not get to 3500 lumens as advertised because of the battery use I use here the Samsung 50e which is a high capacity battery but it's only limited to 10 amps so it might actually not you know uh, give the full potential of this flashlight but again I'm more interested in runtime here it might you know get like 3000 lumens instead of 3500 but I don't care here uh, as long as it has longer runtime. Uh, 
thermical wise this flashlight is also excellent uh, as you can see we've got some pretty decent cooling pins uh, but the power of this flashlight compared to its size it's it's really reasonable and I must admit that in practical um, application the turbo went like in three minutes before it actually stepped down and obviously software included here some thermal regulation which they called fancy ATR which is advanced temperature regulation reminds me of Nightcore a bit uh, but it works really nice uh, actually I believe it's 50, yeah so it's 50 degrees uh, if flashlight exit that's uh, that point it will actually lower the brightness um, so it's it's okay the flashlight never gets too hot uh, especially if you're used to unreal and uh, the flashlight that you will you know set the temperature limit to like 60 degrees the 50 degrees looks like it's not it's, it's barely getting hot so so it's very nice but as, as I say uh, the thermal mass on this flashlight and then combined with not so high power uh, is actually giving this flashlight the, the possibility to, to heat up quite slowly which is very nice you can use turbo for a couple of minutes before it actually steps down uh, which is very nice and obviously it's, it's a budget flashlight so the driver is uh, FET plus one so it basically will lower the brightness as your battery depletes but it's okay uh, I, I won't criticize Sofrin for doing that because uh, I found this driver is, is okay it's cheap but but it works it works nice especially in those kind of flashlights where you like the full power uh, from your battery which is very very desirable all right let's get this white sheet of paper and show you the beam pattern so as you can see here uh, we've got this 5000k edition uh, we've got a nice defined hotspot from this Samsung LEDs we've got a really bright spill and obviously from triple reflector we've got some flower pattern here but I have to admit that the beam quality is excellent especially for the price especially so in the real world it's less blue like you can see on this video it's more like neutral uh, clean white with a little bit of green in the hotspot but it's really really almost unnoticeable it's more like pure white that's why I like this Samsung LED so much all right let's see the other version let's ramp it up a bit all right so it's more like orange orange yellow which is obviously a warm white LED so but the beam pattern as you can see is the same central hotspot with nice spill you may see some rings on the beam but in real life applications like in the forest it, it, it's unnoticeable so only in white wall hunting you might see some artifacts in the beam but Again, I, I think that Sofrin did a really good job designing the reflectors and, and the Orval flashlight is, is excellent. I would highly recommend this one, definitely. Alright guys, so let's go to the forest and let's see how these beasts operate in the real world. Sofrin C8F with Samsung LH351D 2700K Boom! And this is turbo output Alright Pretty good Pretty damn good Notice this, this flashlight won't step down so quickly because of the thermal mass so around 3 minutes on turbo is reasonable Definitely a reasonable amount of light, around 3000 lumens, similar to IF25A. Nice defined hotspot and the flower pattern of spill. Right, the ramping is a little bit slow, and when I hit double tap for turbo, 
it will increase the brightness gradually. So there's no this wow effect when you double tap for turbo. But again, pretty impressive output for the flashlight this size. And again, it is sustainable for about three minutes, which is very, very good results so far. That's nice. All right, let's jump straight to the C8F in 5000K, the same emitters, LH351D, definitely brighter as of cooler LEDs, the power is increased, but they are not as pleasant to an eye. These are pretty neutral. I have to admit that this pure white tint, no green here, maybe a little bit, but almost unnoticeable. A very nice beam, as you can see the hotspot and spill is pretty wide with this flower pattern on the sides. And again this flashlight will heat up not that quickly, about 3 minutes of turbo before it will step down. And as you can see, don't worry if I double tap from turbo, it will decrease brightness and then increase gradually because of the software. Yeah, as you can definitely see it on the camera, it's normal behavior for this flashlight. Okay, let's ramp it up. And small blink at the top of the ramp. Excellent job, Sofir. Very good. CTF. 3000, 5000. 5,000 on the long range, 2,700 on the long range, 5,000, 2,700, definitely less range than SP36, but still quite handy. Okay, on the close range, definitely you can see that 5,000K is a little bit bright and you can see the naked eyes so i suppose it's like a 500 lumen difference at least to sum up guys i believe these flashlights are really worth the price as i said previously the beam quality is excellent the machine and finish on these particular samples are also quite superb and I would really like to see this LH351 diameters in more and more flashlight. Um, I, I wish I knew about this SofferinLight.com earlier and would buy more of their flashlights sooner, but now I've got them all, so <laughs> I shouldn't really be salty about that. But guys, definitely I can recommend these flashlights. They are cheap, they are well made, they have excellent beam quality, they operate on a 21700 flash uh, cells, sorry. Uh, what can I add? I'm really impressed with this one. Yeah, they can definitely recommend this one. If you like me, that's uh, like, you know, more warmer beam and high color rendering index from LEDs, then definitely go check out, check out these flashlights. If you like the video, hit the like button hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, what do you think about these flashlights, and we'll see you in the next one.